Good day. I am going to report the cultural icon in traditional uh, Costa of Brunei. Brunei, officially the national of Brunei, the abode of peace. In Malay, Negara Brunei Darussalam is a country located on the north coast of the island of Borneo in Southeast Asia. Apart from its coastline with, with the South China Sea, Brunei gained its independence from the United, United Kingdom on January 1, 1984. The cultural icon in Brunei. First, the flag of Brunei has a centered emblem of Brunei on a yellow field cut by black and white diagonal stripes, parallelogram at, at an angle. The yellow field represents the Islam of Brunei. The red crest consists of, of a crescent facing upwards, joined with a parasol with the hands on the sides. Black and white stripes are run across the flag. In Southeast Asia, yellow is traditionally the color of reality. The crescent symbolized Islam. The parasol symbolized monarchy. And the hands at this, at this side symbolize the benevolence of the government. The black and white stripes represent Brunei's chief ministers. On the crescent is the national motto of Brunei in Arabic. Always render service with God's guidance. Below this is a banner ins inscribed with Brunei Darussalam, which means Brunei, the abode of peace. Second, Omar Ali Safidin Mosque is an Islamic mosque in Bandar Sil Seri Begawan, the capital of Brunei. It is often considered as, as one of the most beautiful mosques in Asia Pacific. It is a theme. It is a place of worship for the Muslim community, a major historical site and a famous tourist attraction of Brunei. Third, Royal Regala Museum. The museum building is a large gold dome structure with, which is fit with special specifically designed mosque. It has a semi-color semi plan and is covered with plush carpets. Marble has been used extensively in its interior. The main display at the entrance hall is a huge car used for the parade carrying the Sultan through the streets of the city on the occasion of his 1992 silver jubilee celebration. A baby of headless mannequins dressed in traditional attire are displayed in front of chariot. There is also a second chariot which was used during the 1968 coronation and also during 1972 Queen's visit to Brunei. Exhibits include the artifact, artifacts that were used for the royal ceremonies in the country. The, the gold and silver ceremonial weaponry crowns embedded with jewels and other paraphernalia that form of the coronation ceremony. In ceremonial costumes, a particular photograph of interest shows the Sultan smiling at his circumcision ceremony. There is an exhibit of a uh, golden hand and for and uh, the Sultan used for, as a prop of his chin at his coronation and a uh, ornate crown as well as exhibits of documents and treaties in the Constitutional Gallery. Brunei, the Brunei traditional costume. The traditional costume of Brunei includes the Bajong Karung, a long tunic over a long skirt for women, and the Bajo Karo Melayo, a tunic and long parts for men. The Bajo Karo Melayo is a traditionally worn and with a with a blade of floral and or Flora pattern sarong called the sinja, which extends the from the from from the waist to the knees. Also, the design of such garments once den denote social status. Contemporary Bernayans tends to, to be less aware of sig signifiers. For women, it is bajokoro. A bajo korong is a loose fitting full dress consisting of a skirt and a blouse. The skirt is made from a cloth with foldings on, the, on one side. The, 
blouse is colorless, has, a, has long sleeves and extends to the between the hips and the in this it is sometimes made of silk imported from china taiwan turkey uae or india or from the malaysian states in Terengganu or kelantan the modern baju korong commonly uses li lively colors and geometric patterns a woman will often wear a baju korong with a head headscarf Atudong, in the more constructive states in Northern Malaysia. For men is Bajo Karam Malayo. It's a traditional Malay outfit for men. It literally translates as Malay shirt and consists of two main parts. The first piece being Bajo long sleeve shirt itself which has a gray stuff color known, known as as the kikat musong color, literally fox leash. The second part is the is trousers called called silver. The two parts is made out of same type of fabric, which is usually cotton or a mixture of polymus, polyester and cotton. A skirt type adornment is is also commonly worn with a badge of milayu, which which is either the kain something made out of songket cloth or, or the kind sorong made out made out of cotton of or a polymester lip mix both are loops of fabric which are folded around around the wearer's waist a jet black or dark colored headgear called the songko can can also worn to complete complete the attire this is called these are the cultural icons in costumes in Brunei. This comes to the reporting. Have a blessed day and stay safe.